Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragon Five Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Uh, I left it with upgrading all four printers, um, putting a drain on it to stop that blowing out, and extending our base. So our base is a little bit deeper now. However, in the process, I managed to uh, make our room very cold, and I use one of my big batteries to set the heater going. So what I'm going to quickly do. See if I've got enough to make a new battery. No, missing copper, gold, and steel, which are all in there at the moment. In there? Yes, in there. You know what? I'm it's still green. Just check it's still green. Gold, copper. steel. Yeah, that's enough there. Let's quickly make this battery. Stick him in there so you can charge how much power we've got. So I'm running low on power now. So I've got Coal here, 50 coal. So, Let's stick that in there, turn that on, and that will just charge my battery up. Which tells me I now need to get more solar panels. So, what have I got in here? Some of them. Oh, I've got a little steel ingot there. Five grams of gold. So I want to make Inconel if I can. So Inconel is 0.5 gold, 0.25 steel, 0.25 nickel. So if I've got 30 grams of steel, I need 30 grams of nickel and 60 grams of gold. How much nickel have I got? 35. So I've got enough of that, but I need no gold now. So I'll have to go um, mining in a bit. But let's make sure there's nothing. Turn all these printers off, that'll help the power. First things first, how are we doing in this room? How's the temperature doing? That battery's flat, it doesn't take long. To minus 10. I'll flatten this one even quicker. How are we doing with the... That's good, so... That can go off. I'll actually take that battery and swap with that one. Minus nine, so it's actually coming up through the sun shining in as well. That's probably not the best place that does now. Um I don't want to stick this. Stick on the floor for the moment. I don't really need it on me. Yeah, potatoes decaying because um, it's too cold. So where are my flares? Uh, they get some temperature and some heat in here. Sorry, some temperature and pressure in here. But the cost of pollutant. So yeah, that's not ideal. We'll stick on there for the moment. Start those flares burn out. Oops. 
it's temperature doing zero degrees. Um, I don't think that's doing anymore because it's air maxed out. So, can I get out the airlock without killing myself? Can't I drop it? There we go. If you look at the temperature in here, it's minus two hundred seventy-three, which is absolute zero. So um, that's why it's not doing anything in there. So we need to um, bring it out to set it to warm, uh, to cool, and that will bring the temperature down inside. I believe. Or is this the one you can just um pack it away and re bring it out and oh no, it's not change that. Okay, I need to get an up plinth, I think. Um, I wait until that's finished, not put an up plinth. Right, what else was I going to do? I was going to get some ores and things, but I just want to try and make sure my building isn't freezing yet. And I could do another fluid drain. Wrong one. And a copper. Constantly moving things around a minute. I need to get more weasels. More ores. So what's the copper in here? Copper's in here. Hopefully that will drain the fluid in there. Yeah. Right, how are we doing in here? How's my battery doing? Sort that out. Okay, up to 15 degrees. That's that's much better. Are they growing now? Potatoes thriving towards fruiting, potatoes thriving, it's not really well towards fruiting. Okay, so it looks like we recovered that quite quickly, it's not too bad. This will heat up with the sun anyway, but those flares just help to heat it up a bit quicker. But it probably put more pollution into the atmosphere, which it has. You can get a bigger battery charger as well. Yeah, it's pollution gone. How are these filters doing? 87, 97. That's okay. Let's turn that off. And vent my pack. My waste tank. Turn it back on. 
one needs to get rid of that pollution. Still growing. And the plants are recovering now. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. That can always go off again. Right, um don't need you on me. You're fully charged, so do that. So I'll put you with that. And just do that one for a minute. Right, I need gold. In order to make in canal. So I've got my 30 grams of steel, I need 60 grams of gold, 30 grams of nickel. So I've got 35 nickel, 30 steel, and I need 60 gold. So let's go mine some gold, and I believe there's some gold not far away. These goggles do make life so much easier. Lenses, sorry, not goggles. Is that gold? Yep. Tracker. That way. Right, let's uh, get a show on the road, should we? Turn that off. So I want my 30 steel. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of five nickel. Get rid of that for the time being. Don't leave the enemy. And I don't leave the enemy. All that. All that. So that's my 30 nickel, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, I've got 60, don't I? Not 30. No, I didn't do any more. What a fool. Sorry. So I've got 43, so I do need to go uh, mine some more. I've been stupid. Unless I just go with what I've got in silver and gold. So actually, you know what? Let's go with. 40, 20, and I can set this to 20, stick the steel through here. There we go. Stick with that steel in here for now. Mm -hmm. So for ink canal we need 600k, so the temperature is quite low, uh, but 23.5 to 24 megapascals. That's the critical part, the pressure. So make sure that's off. Start bringing pressure in. It's still well over a thousand degrees what we're bringing in. 40 gold. Twenty silver. Steel, sorry, not silver. And twenty nickel. Now the critical thing is the pressure. So I am going to dump some more fuel in there. 
23.5 to 24. 20. I don't know if we're going to get 23 then. 21. 22. I don't think there's another fifth. Yeah, 1.5 left in it. Twenty-three, come on, a little bit more. Four point one more, come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. There's Uncle Hill. So now I can vent that back out. Close that. Vent that back into the tank. And now I can, hopefully, ah, oh, steel, where there is the steel? How much steel do I need? Five grams. Will do. I can make these. I don't know why that light is not going green. Strange. That's still green, that's good, there's no um, storms coming. Pipe bender is d d d this one. We want atmospheric kit, we need copper and gold for that. Okay. Stop that. We've now got our goggles. We'd go here, open them. We need our where to put it? Chip. That goes in here. And then we grab a battery. And that goes in here. And now what am I looking What am I low on water? So let me go and grab some water. And also need some food, so I'll take that as well. I'll take that. Let's close these so I can get to my helmet. Oxygen critical. Turn it back on to some fill up. And this can we go into there. Let's full turn that off. It's temperature like in here now, 16 degrees. How are these doing? Thriving towards routine, thriving towards that ground. Good, good. You can go into there now. Close it. Do that. Now, the reason I was so keen to get these goggles, as I said, is it makes it much easier to mine. Let me just check up on my... Yeah, it's okay. Um, actually, while I'm here, let me have a look at something else. Heavy drill. Mining drill, mining drill, heavy. What do you need for that? Steel, electrum, inborn, solder. We've got no inborn. Okay, we'll deal with this one. This is a demonstration I'll do with this, so I can I'll make sure I can make inborn things. So you turn this on, and now you can see underground what all the resources are. So that's copper, the yellow CU copper. That is Fe, which is iron. So I'll need some of that. And you literally just now mine it. 
it can be a little bit disorientating at times because it's overlaid over what you're seeing on the screen. But you kind of get used to looking through it. Left hook side. O2, more ferrite. FE's already ferrite, I which is iron. Oh, I'm right that way. And now I'm not hunting around trying to wonder where resources are and ores are. I can see them in the ground and I can just go straight to them. And this is a game changer in the game, literally. It makes life so much easier. When I mean, you can see I've just mined a load of iron there. I do need some copper, but there's gold here. So just mine over towards it. The C is coal. The AU for gold. Obviously it's yellow as well. So let's mine this out. I've literally just mined so much I run out of the battery on my um, drill. So I need to come back and uh, swap that out. And then we can go back out again. Um, I've got a load of gold, got a load of iron. Um, the the H2O is obviously water. The green is um I can't remember what the green is actually. Then I is nickel. It's green. Oh yeah, that's uh Uranium. I don't really want that in my backpack at the minute. Oops. I do want copper though. The red X is the volatiles, which we will need. So let's grab some volatiles. That went funny there because it blew me away because um, it's daytime so the temperature's up and the ore couldn't go anywhere so it uh, started to melt, turn the gas which blew me away. A few more of those, I've never got there, 20, accelerate. I've got plenty of coal there. A little bit more oxide, you don't need some oxide, obviously. But you do need it for oxygen. Oxide. You just sort some of this out. Fifty, fifty, fifty. That's water, ice. That's lead. That's coal. That's silicon. That's gold can go up there. All right. What else do I want? I want some more copper. Oh, that's why. Yep, these are quite hungry and power as well, the, the goggles. Glasses, lenses, sensor lenses, I will keep calling them goggles. So my battery out. So that one out just to be safe side. Right, what was I going to do? I need a, 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 a atmospheric unit. So that is the this one. And I'm missing gold. So I've got gold on me. So let's just 
make sure that's off, that's on. That's on, sorry, that one off. <laughs> Bring some pressure in. Fifty gold. Sort of pressure and everything for that. Copper. That was copper I was thinking of. Maybe copper was thinking of, not gold. Anyway, it's no harm. Just stick some of this through here. Through here, well, not to stick that with copper in there, just to use it up. Make sure the temperature's still high enough, yeah. Okay, so it's temperature's come down, so what we're down to. Iron, what's iron need? Iron, not iron. I didn't get 800k. Let's try it again. Why aren't you turning green? There we go, anyway. Got it. Now I'm just dump that back into the tank. Copper. Electronics printer. The rest of the copper can go in there. You all need copper and electronics printer. And print this. Then I'll need some pipes and some vents. What have I got here? Passive vent, I'll need that, I'll need a couple more of them. Insulated pipes. A couple of those. Over already. Stop that. Steel silicon. Silicon. Line can go back in there, the ink canal can go in here for now. Ink canal? Yeah. Let's print some of these. A couple more of these. What you do is for those. Pipes, how many pipes have I got? 11. Mm, might need about 15. What's those? Vent, I need a couple more passive vents, at least one more passive vent, sorry. Uh, 
and an ice crusher. A utility. Two of those. Okay, I want four of those. I think about it. What are we out of? I to put a load of iron in here. Air tank critical. Three. Actually, I'm going to move three for now. Right, what do I want? I want a no, that's my ice crusher. Don't got there yet. Waste out the back there. How close to that are we? Okay, so that there. for this now I can't remember. Two pipes. Uh, screwdriver and two cables. Screwdriver. Oh no about cables. And there'll be something to forget. Um Okay, it's still do some little bits and pieces. Well, I actually need to move that further away. It's too close to the wall. I can't get behind it. And I need to get behind it. Wrench. Okay, okay. Hey. Pressure critical. There we go. That's way down now. I've really got to sort out that in a bit. Uh, what I'll do later is I'll actually pump this into the air ventilation system, I've run pipes up here so that the actual cool air is coming at the top or sucking the warm air out at the bottom. Um, this will do for now. Right, I need the pipe work. I need that, because that's my waste pipe. Let's go outside. I've got no cables on me. I just push I need with me. Everything else I need with me. Cables, do I have any cables over here? No, we used them all. Okay. quite a few of these because I've got to run the power from inside as well. So I'm probably going to need 20 or so. Do 
turn all these off, try and save a bit of energy. And while I'm out here, I will Oh, I forgot radiators. Oops, wrong button. Um, stick the light on there. I need drain. Do I need a radiator? That was it. Where's the steel? Got steel somewhere, now I have. More than you, is it? Yeah. Quite surprised I've had a storm yet, if I'm honest. But, um, really unusual to go this long without having a storm come in. Press C again when you click on this and you go up in increments of 1 instead of 10s. Um, cabling, have I got enough cabling on me to run this in? Yeah, I should do. Right, so that's that. What I need to do is I need to charge that outside before I do anything else. I need to pressurise that system. And I'm going to use volatiles to do it. So, for the time being, I am going to get rid of him.
Crusher, there it is. I'll in the front. Um, oh, God, iron sheets I need, isn't it? I think. Hydration critical. One iron sheet. How many iron sheets did I put any away? Yeah, there we go. Cables and a screwdriver, I believe. So just cables, just cables. Okay, let me sort my hydration quickly. meant to an event on. Um, okay, so I'm just thinking about what I'm doing here. And I want... Have I got pipes on me? Where's my pipes? Have I got pipes? No backpack. Where's it supposed to be? So, let me just... Stick that on there. That on there. And now I need a tank. So not red, not the other Turn you on and dump that on there. Go. I'll pressurize this bottle now. Come on, keep going. Power low. Yeah, it's good. And that will not pressurize at all. Network. Where's one? Net megapaxel. One mega pascal. Paint, so we know it's all. Okay. 
all the tiles in there. We'll do. So we've got a pressurized cooling system. Um, what is the temperature on here at the moment? It is 15.3, 15.4 degrees. It's because the sun's up. We've got the temperature set on here to 26 degrees. Click start, that should start drawing air in. There we go, we've got air moving in here now. And it should start warming this room up. So there you go, the pipe's gone really cold because it's um, sucking heat into the room. I'm actually going to stop that for the time being because I, I want to start cooling, not heating, heating so for using it as a coolant. And that's actually true in the real world as well. Uh, I think it's um, propane and things like that are really good at um, useful for cooling systems and I start to use them in these heat pumps but obviously you've got to be away from anything that could cause a spark or there's a leak could cause a spark and ignite okay guys so we've got our system set up um, like I say there should be no fluid nothing but gas in there at the moment and it's running at 928 kPa so it's, it's going to stay gas for a long time we're at minus 43, so it's load. We could actually turn that back on. So as long as I don't get below at minus 190. Two. And you see it's not going anywhere near that. And it's compacted 2.5 joules. But I find you need to have the expansion tank on there to make sure for it's that these pipes don't burst basically. Because the pressure would spike really quickly because there's very little volume in these pipes anymore compared to how it used to be. So you need the pressure tank. What do you want to call it? Expansion tank. And we have, let's see our temperature in here, 22.7, 22.8, see it's going up. But I'm happy with where it is at the moment, so I'm just going to turn that off. And I will turn it back on again once the temperature gets up to above 26 degrees. So guys, um, people have been asking me how to set that up, that's how to set that up, that's the way I've always done it. Well, that's the way I've done it since I've introduced the recent changes. It works well. Um, I will be running this pipe up, like I say, into the ceiling and I'll be running some vents across the ceiling just to help spread the um, circulation a bit better. Um, but yeah, the, it'll suck in from there and blow out that way. And then that is your heat exchanger. There we go, fine, that's fine. So I think it's been quite a good session actually. We've set that up. We have got our sensor lenders for finding resources. I'll show you what to do with that. Um, is the resources have the normal sort of scientific um, letters for each of the resources. So AU for gold, FE for steel. Uh, so as long as you know what they are, you can find them. If not, it's just a case of trial and error. The ones I find the most difficult are silicon, silver because they're both white. Silver's obviously AG, silicon's SI, but they're both white squares. So you may struggle to differentiate between the two. Other than that guys, um, I hope you like it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share, all the good stuff. I'd like to grow this channel. I've got just over 30 subscribers. I'd love to get that to 50. 
Um, I'd love to get them higher than that, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, 50 is a good target for me at the moment. And uh, I'll see you next time. Strong fly out.